Welcome to the August 5th, 2016 edition of Colorado Inside Out Post Game, a special web exclusive production here on Channel 12. Let's get a quick take on downtown Denver still making headlines for the wrong reasons. A gun battle between alleged gang members and Lodo happened very early last Saturday morning that included over 100 gunshots. Meanwhile, another attack on 16th Street Mall was captured on video and motivated Mayor Hancock to say violence will not be tolerated on the mall. Perhaps a little late with that statement. Patty Calhoun from Westward. We talk, we hear about, and we've talked about how Denver is booming, the, the economy is great, the, the housing market, the rental market, but downtown Denver is still getting headlines like this. What more should be done? Well, they should have started doing things years ago when we saw these problems. That block of Market Street where there were the 100 shots, that was a five years ago. We did a story where that was the most dangerous block in lower downtown. It's not hard to figure out maybe you need to put more security down there. Maybe you need to patrol down there. Five years later, we still haven't solved the problem of let out, which is do you have a some bars stay open later? Do you have more security? What do you do? But we've known Lodo with let out has been a problem for a very long time. Sim similarly, there have been problems on the mall. It was over a year ago at the Downtown Denver Partnership annual meeting. They were talking about security on the mall, what to do. Why does it take more than a year? They've decided some private security is a good solution, but they're not patrolling yet. How hard is it? You know, get Barney Fife out there. Anybody is going to be better than nothing if you have a couple people patrolling the mall and responding more quickly to, da to danger calls. David Copel from the Penn Institute and DU Law School. Uh, we've seen these headlines. We've talked about it a lot. If the city council brought you in for a special uh, consulting gig and they said, we don't know what to do, all these different problems are happening, what does David Copel advise? Be grateful that the Colorado legislature in 2003 passed the Concealed Carry Act because the <laughs> government sure isn't doing a very good job of protecting people, so it's good they can at least defend themselves. I've Grew up in Denver. I've been going to downtown Denver, you know, since the 60s and seen it a lot of phases. And even in the late 70s, when that city, when downtown was really, it was looking bad and shabby, a lot of places closing, its former glory long gone, the movie theaters were closed, nothing was replacing them. Even then, at, at, it, at its real low points then, it was much safer than it is now. So, you know, Mayor Hancock's statement that violence on the mall won't be tolerated, well, that's not actually just apologies of platitude. That's actually a change in his policy, apparently, because it has been for a long time. And not all the problem, but part of it is the, the vagabonds and the bums uh, aggressively panhandling. Remember Mayor Hickenlooper, remember he used to be mayor? He said we were going to eliminate homelessness in the city of Denver, but whatever has been done, it seems to just cause more of it. Um, people need more genuine feeling of safety. It's not just the perception of safety, it's the actual safety that's lacking on the mall. Eric Sonderman, political analyst. Uh, what must uh, Michael Hancock do to ensure that this violence in Denver doesn't become part of uh, his permanent legacy? I don't have a full answer, and I think Michael Hancock doesn't have a full answer either. Um, it's his obligation, not mine. We get to sit around and, and comment on it, but I identify with what has already been said. I was uh, off air talking about how I was on the mall a couple days ago this week, middle of the morning, for a, just a routine coffee with a friend, and it's just not an inviting environment. Did I feel completely unsafe at any point? No, but it, you know, in the course of walking a couple blocks, you're constantly looking over your shoulder. Um, in fairness to Mayor Hicken, Governor Hickenlooper, then Mayor Hickenlooper, homelessness is not purely a Denver problem. It has exploded all over the country, and particularly in urban areas all over the country. And, and no one has really come up with a complete answer or, any, or even a meaningful answer for what to do about homelessness. But downtown should be the crown jewel of any major urban city. Their downtown should be the crown jewel. Our downtown is not the crown jewel, whether it's Lodo, whether it's the mall. Recently, uh, we were on a trip down south and just happened to visit three different state capitals. And whether it's the grounds around the capital or just the feeling you get of being there, it is a crown jewel. I came back here and went to a meeting at our state capital, and you're walking through weeds, literally, to get to the capital, not to mention the people who are hanging out and surrounding it. It is not an inviting place. It is not representing the best of the state, just like our downtown is not representing the best of the city. 
Pentate, attorney at QTAC Rock, also a longtime state lawmaker. Um, here we have a, a city of Denver booming in the housing market, rental market, buildings going up like crazy. Uh, but at the same time, uh, re really disturbing headlines from our downtown urban core. Uh, if there's not an available answer out there, at least what's the next steps that we, we, we need to see to get us closer to solving this problem? Well, I think the, the first thing we need to do is recognize that this has been a problem that's a long time in the making. The 16th Street Mall downtown has been declining for a while. Uh, but there are some short-term fixes that I think the city ought to look at, and they're pretty obvious. Number one, increase the police presence. Whether you have um, mounted officers or officers walking the beat, like in the old days, but uh, in, in, increase the police presence. Secondly, downtown Denver has been talking about doing some sort of private security piece for over a year, do it, for goodness sakes, just get it done. There's a third piece of this that I found interesting, and my office is just two blocks off the mall, so I use the mall quite a bit. What I've noticed is there seems to be no coordination of the construction on or about the mall, and it's exacerbating the feel and the look because there are certain blocks where one half of the, 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 the shuttle lane is closed and then the other half is closed and then you can't cross and you can't move and so it's forcing weird movements of people in some cases it's stopping movement so people are just sort of congregating and hanging out now that doesn't answer all of the problem but part of it is coordinating the whole construction and work you do on the mall so you continue to allow for the free flow movement of people you can't wait 20 minutes for a mall shuttle bus because one of the lanes is closed and there are no buses running. You got to figure that piece out. So there are some simple steps that need to be undertaken. And then I think the last step is between the city and downtown Denver, there needs to be a real announced, pronounced, viable long-term plan for the renovation, improvement, and maintenance of the 16th Street Mall, because that's the focal point. And now that it stretches all the way down to the river from the Capitol, you've really got to make sure you're paying attention to the, the, the spine of downtown. And I'm sure there are plans. I'm sure somebody's got them in neat binders on bookshelves, but you got to make sure people know about it and that you're intentional in telling people what you aspire to do on the mall. And I'm not convinced that anybody's done that very effectively. That's all the time we have for Colorado Inside Post Game this week. Leave us a comment and tell us what you think. For everyone here at CP212.org, I'm Dominic Dizzuti. Thanks for watching.